Okay then, so the next data type I wanna cover is lists, which again is a collection of string values like sets, but with a few differences. First of all, the items inside a list do not need to be unique. So Redis will let you store multiples of the same value like this. Secondly, lists do have some unique order to them based on how you add items to the list, whether it be at the start of it or at the end of it. And thirdly, the way values are stored and queried in the list is very different as well. So it's a good idea to think of a list as a bit like a queue where each value is lined up before the next one. And we can pop values off the end of a queue and we can push new values onto the start of the queue. Now lists in Redis are what's known as linked lists, which means they behave differently than something like a list in Python or an array in JavaScript. Linked lists do not have to have all of their values stored together in the same location within some kind of imaginary border, much like arrays are stored. Instead, values in linked lists can be stored independently of each other, and each value just knows where the next item in the list is, so it can point to it. And this affects the way the values from a linked list are queried because accessing a value in the middle of a linked list means the whole list needs to be traversed up until that point, which is slower than with arrays. However, the upside is that when we're working with the head of the list or the tail of the list, the two ends, for example, pushing new items on or popping current ones off, these operations are very fast. So... With that in mind, the kind of thing that lists might be good for is when data progresses over time, maybe, like a queue of orders, where completed orders get popped off the end and new orders get pushed onto the start. Or maybe a list of the 10 most recent status updates, where as a new one gets added, the oldest one in the list gets removed. So with that bit of theory out of the way, let's have a look at some of the commands we can use with lists in Redis. Okay, so I've already deleted all the current data we had. And if we go to the workbench, we can start working with lists. So how do we create a list? Well, we just create a list by pushing an item onto a list. And if it doesn't already exist, Redis will make it for us. So the way we do that is by saying L and then push. And you might think L stands for list, and I guess it could, but in my eyes, it stands for left because we're gonna push from the left onto this list. Now, when we first make a list, that doesn't really matter because we're just pushing on the first element. So we could push from the right and we get the same results. However, it will matter later on, which I will show you. We'll call this one orders, which is the key name. And then we're gonna pass on Ryu. So an order for Ryu. And if we hit control enter, it's gonna create that list and push on that element, Ryu. So we can see that right here, index zero and Ryu. Now let me go back and let me do this again. I'm gonna say L push again, orders, and then Chun hyphen Lee. So like I said, L means push from the left. So that means it's gonna push it before Ryu in the list, which means the index of Ryu will go up and this will be index zero. So let's see that in action, control enter, Go over here, look at list, and now we can see Chun-Li is index zero, Ryo, uh, Ryu is index one. All right, so let's try R push, which is pushing from the right. So we'll say R push, and then it's orders, and we'll add on Blanca and Ken. Bonus points if you know what these names are from. Control enter, so we're adding two now to the list, two elements, and they're gonna be pushed on from the right. And if we take a look at those, we can see the index of Chun-Li and Ryu remains the same, but we've pushed Blanca on first. So that goes on first from the right and then Ken on top of that. So their positions two and three. All right, cool. So that's how we add new items to the list. In fact, let's do one more just to give us some more data. I'm gonna say L push. So pushing from the left, orders, and then we need two more elements, Sagat and Balrog. All right, can I spell? No. Balrog. And if we take a look at this again, we should have a bigger list and they've gone to the start. Awesome. So we have this list of orders now. So how do we take things off the list? Well, we can use the pop command. And again, we can pop from the left or the right. So if we say L pop, and then whatever the key is, it's going to be orders like so. That's going to basically remove one element from orders from the left. So the first one at the minute is Balrog. Let's go over here and run this command. And you can see that Balrog was returned to us 
And if we go over here, it's no longer in the list. All right, so let's try this again, but let's try it from the right. So R, pop, and then it's going to be orders. And then we'll do two this time, control enter, and we can see Blanca and Kenny's return to us, and they're no longer on the list. Awesome. All right, what else we can do? We can do L, len, to get the length of a list. So we can see it's three. And we can count these, one, two, three, yep. We can also get a range of different elements from a list. So we can say L range, like so. And then it's orders. And we need to say where we want to go from and where we want to go up to. So I can say from zero to one, for example. And we get the first two. I could run the same command, but this time go from zero to two. That should get us all of them. Yep, it does, awesome. We can also work with minuses to work from the end of a list. So if I change this to minus two and minus one, that means go from the end, that's the end one, and then go back to minus two, which is the next one along. So it should get us the last two in the list, which if we take a look is Ryu and Chun-Li. So let's try this out. Yep, we get Ryu and Chun-Li. All right, so we can also use L index to get a specific item at a certain index from the list. So let's say L index orders and then say position one. And um, we can see we get Chun-Li. Uh, we can also say L pause. So I could say L pause, and then we can get a position of something inside the orders. So let me get rid of that. So we say L pop orders, and then we will look for Ryu to see what position it's in. Sorry, not L pop. Doing this completely wrong. L pause. And then it should be orders. Get rid of that there. Good grief. This is hard work. Orders and Ryu. So what this does for us is it looks orders, sees if Ryu is in the list, and it gives us the index of that. So let us try this out. And we can see two, which I think is the index of Ryu. Yes, it is. Awesome. So there we go, there's a few different commands we can use with lists. Again, there are other commands for lists that I've not shown you, but I don't want to bombard you with a ton of different ones all at once. So if you like, you can check the lists page in the docs to see all the available commands right over here so you can have a play around with them.